Hey guys, in this psycholinguistics video I wanted to tell you why I disagree with Chomsky and I wanted to mention some of the articles that we've dealt with in class that give very valid reasons to doubt Chomsky's theory. Chomsky said that because all languages share a set of universal principles, because they're so alike, we must have a blueprint and we must be born with a natural capacity to produce and comprehend language. Human beings are poor learners and they can't detect all the complex information by themselves. They really can't. The basis of Chomsky's theory, namely that all languages share a set of universal principles, has been disproven by Evans and Levinson in 2009, who say that languages don't really share that many features, and that the most remarkable property of language is its diversity. The reason I believe Chomsky is wrong is because of some recent tests that have proven that we have a general learning mechanism that isn't specifically designed to learn language. It's a mechanism that is able to detect statistical regularities. One of these statistical regularities that you can count on in language is the unidirectional dependency relations, which is just a fancy way of saying that one word category requires the presence of another word category. For example, a definite article can never stand alone and always requires the presence of a noun, whereas a noun doesn't really necessarily imply the presence of a definite article. <sighs> I needed to breathe. They did a test with 12-month-old infants and they let them listen to two artificial languages, one that had these predictive dependencies and one that didn't. They only listened to these artificial languages for 23 minutes, which is very short. If you want to know the details and the materials of this experiment, check out the article in the description box. During the experiment, the kids heard all new sentences and they were able to distinguish between grammatical and ungrammatical sentences in the predictive language, but they weren't able to distinguish between grammatical and ungrammatical in the unpredictive language. To find out if this general statistical learning mechanism is something that is specific to humans or if it is something that other species have as well, they did the same experiment with adult cotton top tamarind monkeys. Aww, cute! The test proved that the monkeys were able to detect statistical regularities when it came to individual word tokens, but they weren't able to distinguish between grammatical and ungrammatical when the tests got more complex. Even though the 12-month-old infants could do it easily and they were given a lot less time to familiarize themselves with the artificial language. The kids were given only 23 minutes of familiarization, whereas the monkeys were given two hours of familiarization. So this would support the idea that humans have this general learning mechanism in their heads. The reason that some of these languages are quite similar is because we've made them according to our learning mechanisms. This would mean that language is the result of our limits of learning. You could argue that it doesn't mean that this statistical learning mechanism isn't specifically designed to learn language, but for me the strength of the article lies in the fact that they've been able to prove that the ability to detect predictive dependencies is not restricted to language. They did the same tests with computer alert sounds and the kids were still able to detect predictive dependencies, which means that it's not just restricted to language. Conclusion? We all have a very general learning mechanism that is able to detect statistical regularities. Wait, you're saying I was wrong? You're wrong! Also, I stole Skinner's desk and his office. And it's cake. What? I like cake. Anyway, so that's the end of this psycholinguistics video. I hope you liked it, and if you want to check out the article and the experiment, check out the, the reference in the description box below. I hope you liked the psycholinguistics video. The next psycholinguistics video won't be for a while, but it will be about how bilinguals recognize and process words. I hope you like that, and I'll see you guys soon. Peace out! <laughs>